Hey guys, it's X. Thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be on how I passed advanced pharmacology and I'm still a little bitter about it because I did get a B and it was my first B in NP school and I was just really upset about it because I had an A the entire time until I took my final and I ended up getting an 88 point six eight percent or something like that but that's okay i mean it's <laughs> still passed however um pharmacology was very difficult um i feel like i'm pretty well versed in my drugs i am just very interested in the subject i like to know all the side effects and like what to look for for my patient so I didn't think I was going to get a B. I thought I was pretty well versed, but it was just, honestly, it almost broke me and <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. So I am not the type of person that can read something one time and understand it. I have to study a lot and read a lot and over and over in order to understand things. I'm not lucky in that sense that other people can just read it and understand it. So that's one thing of the type of studier that I am. And it was very challenging. It was a lot of work at once. I did take a two month course and um, it was literally about 17 chapters, I believe, for like two weeks. It was something crazy amount, very ridiculous. This video is actually long overdue because I took Advanced Farm in January to March and it is now almost September, basically. <laughs> But um, I'm gonna tell you the, the tricks and tips that I have and what was not working for me this time and how I think I could have improved if I would have um, did things a little bit differently. So first off, I had to tend to take a step back in this class because I felt like I was gonna have a stroke. I was just very stressed about the amount of reading assignments, discussions, and just stuff that we had for the little amount of time. And the material, to me, I always say for pharmacology, one tip I always give is if you have a drug, there's a bunch of drugs obviously in the same class, but if you have a drug that has a very specific side effect, like propofol causes green urine or something crazy like that, I would definitely memorize that because it's more than likely going to be on your test. Um, also, I got engaged in the middle of my class and I was a little bit distracted because I just wanted to plan my wedding and then COVID hit. So don't let any outside distractions, you know, take away your time from school. A wedding is very important, but getting through school is, you know, probably a priority, <laughs> especially when you're going to be treating patients. So I went from studying eight hours a day, four days a week to 12 hours a day, four days a week. It was an overwhelming amount of work. I feel and almost wish I could have not been in an accelerated program so that I could give my body and mind time to kind of absorb all the material. And I also suggest making your pharmacist your best friend. My pharmacists are amazing. I do have access to them 24 seven because I work in the ICU. So I was able to ask my pharmacist questions or explain something to me. Like when you first hear the P450 system, I remember in nursing school kind of briefly going over it, but not exactly understanding it. So when we were learning about that in class, I was like, this is something that I really have to get this time because I don't you know, I briefly covered it and now I actually have to understand exactly what it does and how it works. So they were able to under, uh, explain that to me and help me understand better. And then I also used to um, make flashcards and I still believe that is a good thing. I mean, it is a lot of information, but I think making flashcards with things that you feel like you should know is kind of a way to test yourself. So if you read the, I always read material enough so that if I look at my flashcard, I already know what's on it. Like I want to be that detailed and stuff it, um, before I go into an exam. I don't get test anxiety because I study this way. There's no reason for me to be nervous because I feel confident with what I did and how I studied. So I don't ever get anxious or overwhelmed when it comes to an exam because I feel very well prepared and I study to the point where I feel well prepared. 
um, this time I was actually doing better on assignments than I was in testing and I feel like I usually do really good on my tests and probably not so great on my assignments I really usually push those off and don't study I mean I don't work as hard for my assignments because I am focusing on my exams however in this class for some reason our exams weren't weighted as much as our um, assignments were so this time I had to kind of focus and try to learn how to rebalance that and like try to focus on my assignments then opposed to focusing solely on studying. So that was also a different thing. And I think I was just so overwhelmed by the amount of things and um, that was going on. And when you come to antibiotics, everything sounds the same. All the drugs sound the same. They all sound like the, the um, Side effects all seem the same, but then when I started breaking them down, because I was just reading chapter after chapter after chapter, and then it just felt jumbled in my head, and I was like, what is this? <laughs> like, I actually sat there and broke down the root words, um, and that helped me so much because they all sounded the same, but when I actually broke down the, the root words, actually was able to realize that they don't actually all sound the same and the root words are very different um and then i just classified them you know i didn't learn specifics like i wasn't like um learning every single antibiotic drug name i mean how could you there's so many so i would break them down by class i would learn that root word and that's how i was able to study very well the antibiotic test was actually the best <laughs> exam that i did i think i got like a 96 on that exam so those are, I think, some hints for antibiotics that helped me. Um, and like I said, make sure you know all those crazy side effects uh, like vancomycin causes med, uh, sorry, <laughs> red man syndrome. I remember weird things like linezenoid. Uh, I might be pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> Linezolid uh, is $400 a dose. Like that is just crazy to me. Or that... Um, flagell causes like cancer in rats or something that they saw like I just memorized like the most random things that were um facts on there but then I remembered like oh this causes that oh there's also this about this drug so I'm the type of person that like I will be more likely to remember if you tell me a story associated with it so that is kind of something that um is also a way for me to study and pass these difficult courses. So I definitely would prioritize my time. And once again, I am, it still amazes me to this day how far I've gotten in this program that people simply just don't pay attention and don't read. I don't know if it's intentional, but absolutely read your syllabus. Like go over these things, have it planned out. Nothing annoys me more than when I see the question, what is on the test? What chapters are we reading? Are you serious? Like we have a syllabus from day one. You have a course calendar on every single one of your modules. Like it should say what you're doing that week. I simply think people are just so busy. Maybe they get lazy and don't want to look for it themselves. They want someone to tell you. But I honestly feel like the best way that you can be prepared for a class is by looking in at the information yourself, figuring it out yourself. Um, I feel like you will do better. Any, every time I had an assignment, I'm sorry if this video is like very similar to my advanced patho video, but I just haven't seen the video in a very long time and it took me months to remember and to, to make this video. So um, yeah, I am trying to remember what struggles I had in advanced farm because like I said, I'm still a little bitter at the fact that I don't have strays anymore, even though it's not a big deal for some people. It's a big deal for me and I'll tell you why. When you study and you put your heart into something and you literally don't do anything else but this and you don't get an A, it's like, what? Did, I worked so hard. That's just the most frustrating part about it for me. <laughs> like, grades don't matter. What matters is that you know what you're doing when you're with your patients. But the reason why it matters to me is because I worked so hard for something and just didn't see the benefits of it. But anyway, um, yeah, I read all the material that was assigned. I know some people get away with not reading. That is not me. I um, 
did not print my lectures this time usually I print my lectures make notes highlight and then just read 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 this time I didn't I actually had my iPad I downloaded the stuff on notability and I absolutely love that app um, you're able to mark on it draw on it like insert um, little pictures and cut it out like just do a lot of things on that app I've been using it since I was in a regular um, undergrad college and I didn't use it for the beginning of this these classes because one I didn't want to take an iPad to work or in line or somewhere I just rather have paper um, but I decided this time it was just way too much paper to print so save the earth and I just use my iPad so I don't want to make this video too long um, just know that it is a very ridiculous <laughs> class there is a lot of information um but i honestly loved it like i like learning um, new things about drugs and one thing that i liked was that now when i go to practice i see why we order certain things why we we don't um and that was one thing that i gained as just a regular nurse was that um i got to see oh this drug is prescribed for this as opposed to this and i just i, I really enjoyed the class um it was one of my favorite classes that i've taken so far so i'm going to sign off here good luck to everybody i hope this video helps you a little bit um please like comment subscribe before you x me out and swipe me away and if you're wondering yes i am wearing a wig i'm just trying to see because we want to see if i want to dye my hair back my natural color or this dark color before i get married so if you're wondering why my hair is different than the picture it's also because i recorded this video i hated it and i deleted it so yeah i'm re-recording it now so if you guys have any questions i can um try and answer them in the comments and if you have any suggestions for other students on what you think helped you please feel free to share them in the comments so that another student can read them. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.